for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, after a few weeks now of on and off rain, things have greened up nicely across Springfield. We're getting some peaks of afternoon sunshine. Uh, that's allowed temperatures to pop back into the mid to upper 70s. We're right on the line here in Springfield. North of Springfield, it's actually fairly sunny with uh, sunny to mostly sunny conditions. Meanwhile, to the south, we're holding on to clouds. Last night, the big wave of rain hit southwest Missouri and northern Arkansas. The rainfall was heaviest. Uh, across areas like Barry County, south across Carroll County and Newton County in northwest Arkansas. And these are areas that really needed the rain. Uh, I, I know Cassville or some residents have been questioning, you know, where's the rain? It's kind of missed those areas. They got it last night uh, here in Springfield. We picked up officially under an inch, three quarters of an inch out of the airport. I know in my rain gauge on the south side of town, I picked up an inch for the day into the night last night. Other locations had some healthy totals. Harrison over two inches, Joplin an inch and a half, West Plains over an inch. And you can see in the Rolla Vichy area, this was with the previous morning's round of rain over two inches there. So we've seen a big shift and the summer pattern. I mean, it's gone from hot and dry weeks on end to much wetter. Uh, looking at how much rain that we saw for the first roughly month and a half of the summer season, you can see here in Springfield only about two inches. And the last three weeks officially out at the airport, and some rain gauges I'm sure registered higher amounts, but over the last three weeks out of the airport, a little over four inches. And look at West Plains, almost six inches of rain there. Harrison coming in with over four inches along with the Rolovishi area. Uh, cold fronts through though, and we are now looking at drier days ahead. And the muggies are also moving out, and that's going to set us up nicely for a very, very pleasant morning tomorrow morning and then again Friday morning. So if you like to get out early, sit out on the patio, or maybe you like going for a jog or a walk in the morning, these next couple of mornings are going to be uh, primo because we're going to find temperatures dipping into the upper 50s and low 60s. It's going to be quiet. There could be a little bit of patchy fog to start off the day on Thursday. Otherwise, I think we're going to see sunny skies giving way to a few afternoon clouds, but just a gorgeous August day. Temperatures tonight will range from about 58 for a low in Rolla to 60 here in Springfield to 61 in Branson, 61 over in Joplin. And then on uh, Thursday, we'll find temperatures warming into the low 80s. Uh, but this is below normal stuff for this time of the year. I mean, for mid-August, our average high is still around 89 degrees at this point in August. We're looking at a high tomorrow of about 83, and that's going to come with low humidity. And the mild pattern, mild pattern for August, will continue through the weekend into next week as we're going to hold on to this general trough across the eastern half of the United States. There will be some wet weather that will swing through, I think, through this upcoming week. And we're going to have a storm that's going to come out of Canada and then drop across the Great Lakes into the northeast. And it looks like it's going to push a front into the area on Saturday. So right now, it looks like Saturday may offer up the best chance uh, for some shower and thunderstorm activity. Could see some early in the day and then again in the afternoon. And we could still see some additional showers and thunderstorms maybe overnight Saturday night into Sunday morning. It now looks like, though, that front will push far enough south so that things dry out and we find a really nice start to the week next week as well. Lauren? All right, Jamie, thanks. If you are